Hi everyone, it's Yanis here and in this video we will explore what is Dilbert Principle. It is true that low performing or incompetent members of the team will impact overall team's performance and therefore it is important to deal with them. If this is your first time on this channel then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get updates on my latest videos about time management and productivity. Dilbert principle states that companies tend to systematically promote incompetent employees to management to get them out of the workflow. Under the Dilbert principle, employees who are not competent are promoted to management to limit the damage they can do. It's common in teams to have some people that are struggling to keep up with the pace with the rest of the team. Of course, company can provide training to get the individual up to speed, but that is often requiring time and other resources to do that. Therefore, alternative solution that can be used is to simply promote the incompetent individual to get them out of the workflow. Once the person is promoted to, let's say, manager, they'll have different responsibilities and they'll be less involved in day-to-day -day operations. This is because majority of real and productive work in company is done by people lower in the power ladder. I have to mention that Dilbert principle is more related to bigger businesses and corporate teams where there are a lot of resources. If you are running a small business, then you should make sure that you hire right people in the first place so you don't have to deal with low performers. When you have to deal with incompetent people, then the best solution is either to educate them or get rid of them, otherwise they'll be holding you back. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I was able to give you a quick summary of what Dilbert principle is and how it works. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you could press the like button as this will help the video reach more people and spread the message.